Hey YouTube love, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I am trying something different. I feel like every time I'm doing a vlog, we are starting now in the car. I'm actually on the way to get my nails done. Um, but I wanted to take you guys along with me throughout this week. It's gonna be like a vlog style, but a snippet of a weekly style. It's gonna be kind of like a vlog style, but at the same time like a weekly vlog kind of style like i don't really have like much exciting things but i thought like i'll give you guys a snippet of what i think you guys may love throughout the week and then we'll see how it goes but i hope you guys are doing well if you're new to my channel welcome i'm juliet and if you are part of the julie simply love family you know how i feel about you thank you so much for tuning back in so let's go get these crusty nails done Later, you can tell from my makeup like I'm melting everything got the nails done okay so I got a very nude very 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 simple color love that I I stopped at Dollar Tree because I needed to get like few cleaning gloves and then few household stuff so I got them I might share with you guys because there's few things that I never seen before at Dollar Tree but I promised the kids that I was going to take them to the mall so here we go to the mall so this is what I picked up from Dollar Tree I don't know why this reminds me of an item that you can find at globe collaborate um i used to get things from them but um it's a bathroom cleaner i love the aesthetic i got two of those and i got this fabuloso just because it's an antibacterial i um, never seen the yellow bottle before heavy form shower cleaner got one of those i'm not sure why my camera is not focusing but the main reason why i went is to grab some cleaning gloves i really was in need of some new ones so yeah that's my little haul from Dollar Tree, nothing special. <laughs> and obviously, sweet tooth going on, so I picked up a few goodies for the kids and myself. So here's Miss Vanessa, she's ready to go to the mall. Such a teenager taking pictures of my phone. Like, do you guys, so as I was saying, like, do you find your phone with thousands of pictures of your children? You're like, I did not take this. <laughs> That's literally them. They love taking pictures with my phone, and then I get left with all the funny silly pictures um and then i wonder why i'm always out of memory so look at this doll baby look at valerie she looks so adorable i love her little bag this is actually a amazon find you guys one of the little jewels came off with such adorable bag from amazon they actually had it in a jean version but by the time i got to purchasing it it was sold out but i got a jean version for one of her friends um birthday but yeah you ready yeah yeah okay so a quick unboxing of a handbag that i received don't mind the messy room guys i actually need to tighten up my room and today's sheet washing day so stuff are all over the place i received a package before leaving out so i'm going to open that right now it's actually a summer bag um that i was looking at I actually ordered two summer bags my nails are so sore I don't know why like I feel like anytime they use the nail filer around like my nails like around the corner like the edge of my nails like it gets so sensitive and I keep telling them it hurt and they keep going back and doing the same thing and I'm like which part of snap come back okay so I was saying like which part of it hurts don't you understand is the handbag is I want to make sure it's not like too kid-ish so here is the handbag right here it's like a very nice summery bag bag right here see so here's the bag right here how pretty is this like it gives me just nothing but summer vibe I love 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 the details I'm not sure if you guys can see it okay so here's the details of the handles super pretty love it I love this little details right here on the side and the inside is just like one opening and it has a magnet we just made it to the mall and 
it actually is empty which is awesome i actually have a bath and body work candle that i need to return the gardenia the white gardenia i don't like how it smells when it burns the way it smells when it's actually lit it doesn't smell as good so i'm returning that and i'm gonna see what else i can i probably will get stressed for leave because i just don't know i just like sticking to what i love and that's it anytime i try something new i end up not liking it so we'll see guys well, let's go in i'm hoping to god my hair does not look crazy when i start editing because sometimes you can't even tell when you're filming yourself that you have certain things out of place but hopefully that's not the case here are my cool kids. Now they put some of your hair back. <laughs> this one right here does not want to be on camera. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh. These kids are so funny. I'm exhausted. Eli is so bored out of his mind, so we are going to leave. Yeah. At least the girls have fun, but I can please everyone. Okay, guys, this is my outfit for tomorrow. I got it from Forever 21. Cute, right? Make sure you keep this in, mommy. I'm gonna do it like you, like I'm not there. Okay, so I got. Rip jeans from Forever 21 in this t-shirt from Forever 21 and this was $20 and this was $30 and I spent it with my own money so so she's broke no I have, 20, I have I have $27 left oh my gosh thank you very much okay all right we just got home I thought about recording a reels for Instagram for next week because I kind of have a new system where I try to pre-record my content the week before but I feel so drained out. I don't know because I've been out since this morning. My nails took so long, well longer than I expected because typically I don't get my pedicure and manicure the same day. And then taking the kids to the mall, oh my gosh, I don't like going shopping at the mall. I can do all the online shopping and never get tired, but it's something about going to the mall that just, I, I just, I can't. So I'm feeling drained. I still have dinner to cook, so I'm going to cut this vlog for today. I'll catch you guys on tomorrow. We gotta have some fun stuff and ooh. By the way, you guys, I'm still undecided about the handbag. I'm not sure yet. I'm expecting another handbag on Friday. I order both together so I can make my decision um, fairly. Now, I feel like I would love the one that's coming on Friday more than I love this one. Let me know in the comments what you think about both bags once you do see it. Obviously, Friday, once I open it, we'll chat more about it. But I feel like this bag is kind of more more youthful like maybe like in my if I was in my 20s maybe I'm overthinking it or whatever but you know I just want to look grown and sexy at the same time fun you know but anyway I'll see you guys tomorrow morning bye <laughs> Set my world on
Hey guys, happy Thursday. I honestly look a hot mess this morning. I kind of had like a late start. I've been sleeping kind of late lately. So I woke up late and was kind of rushing out trying to get to this COVID appointment shot. So my appointment went pretty well. I was sore than my when I do get the flu shot. But and then I feel a little bit of tingleness or like a cold sensation in my arm. But other than that, I feel fine. I'm gonna go home, record a couple of like Instagram videos cause I'm kinda late on that area. And I might stop at the store before heading home, but that's just all I just wanted to check in. So I got home not too long ago guys, and I promise I'll do something about my hair. Hold on, I'm trying to find, oops, sorry. I'm trying to find a better, lighting situation because i'm still trying to figure out this vlogging camera i feel like sometimes like the footage are too bright or it's either too dark i am working with the aperture and everything but like my kitchen filming in my kitchen can be a little tricky so bear with me while i figure my life out okay um i might do a quick grocery haul how about that so I'm going to start out with the dry good first. I got extra virgin oil and this one, buying it at my international supermarket is actually cheaper than Aldi because this was like $7 for this huge um, bottle and this is 2 liter. And I got vegetable oil because we need that too and this is 1 gallon, very inexpensive for like, it was under $10 for this one. I got some gari. I uh, How do I explain gari, babe? My husband said gari is... It's made out of cassava or yuca root, like um, either one. But this is what my husband wanted me to buy this. But yeah, well known in African countries. And I also got some gold potatoes because I have a few recipe and few dishes I'm thinking about making with some of the meat that I picked up. Parmesan cheese because my daughter and myself love, 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 love the Brazilian cheese bread. So we finally have it down know how to make it and yes it's so much more cost efficient doing it ourselves versus buying it at the grocery store on this side right here i have oxtail so i got oxtail i have two pack of oxtail and i want to show you i'm not sure compare food is nationwide but it's something that's in my town um so this pack of oxtail and the price of meat went up tre tremendously this pack is 16.79 the other one at the bottom is $17.39. Went up before I could remember buying this for under $10. Now I have the hand chicken. Um, we call it African chicken because it's, it's hard. It's not the typical hand chicken that you find at your regular grocery store. You have to go to your international store and find this one. Um, so two small holes. Also call it Indian chicken. So this was $8.34. So $8.30 for two chicken. Um, like I said, it varies per pound, so but they're both $8 and some change. It's goat meat. I told you I'm gonna gross you guys out. So we love goat meat for like soup, pepper soup. Um, any West African countries probably use this. Any countries and any other place probably use it for different recipe. You can use this for soup. You can use this to make um, also very, very good uh jello rice but obviously not the red one there's white jello rice um if you are from like senegal and stuff like that you probably know what i'm talking jello rice so anyway this one was 17.30 and that is a lot and this was 17.15 and this was 11.20 and i got um kidney beef kidney this is so good if you make it the right way so I got two of them these this is very good to promote like real good like to promote more like if you're anemic you should be eating stuff like this so I got two of them because I love cooking these with like very very fine recipe with like um, sweet peas and um, carrot and you eat it with bread or you can eat it with couscous too and then I also got some some beef stew chunk, and this was eight twenty nine. So yeah, that's my little haul. All of this that I bought 
was my my bill was under 150 so it's so much more cost efficient like shopping at my international supermarket even even more than walmart the meat is so much more um cost efficient and then when you cook into you end up saving more money so this right here will last us for a whole month i'm um, no lie a whole month because remember i have two chicken in each bag and then all of this can last us even longer depending on what i'm making because obviously we're not going to be eating all of this meat all at once i kind of mix like african food and then like you know little stuff here and there but anyway and i also got this juice my babies they love it they're they love sunny d but if you try this one you're gonna love this um more than sunny d so that's what i got and yeah i'm gonna put this away and start working on some diy video for instagram that i have planned in my mind hopefully it turns out well i'll let you guys know this portion of the video was a little loud so i decided to do it over with a voice note and i kind of made a mess with my artist paint so my hubby is currently cleaning it out so i had this very clear glass vase that i used during the holiday for a styling video i'll link it up here so you can see exactly what i did so pretty much what i have right here is just baking soda and artist paint you guys and it gave me this ceramic you know pottery barn rh inspire vases that's currently very trendy if you saw like some of my recent haul video with the 62 line with target's vase it gives you that texture without the price tag so any vases that you have you just use baking soda and artist paint of your choice and you just paint away just make sure you seal it but i really love how it turned out and you guys will get to see the final result in a little bit all right here is how it looks it looks so orange bougie on the budget kind of deal you know so i'm going to i'm going to seal it with my sealer and then hopefully it still say matte but i really love even like the white um details on it and that comes from the that comes from the baking soda so yeah love it and i have texture all over which is so amazing all right so we have it out i have a semi gloss sealer so hopefully uh i want to use it at the same time if i don't seal it I, i'm kind of scared that it will come off let me see let me spray let me spray the bottom first and see oh man you know i'm not scared i ain't scared let's do this I forgot how you look like in rain That's why I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now all right, so while that's drying out, and I'm showing you half of my face because my hair looks a mess, okay? I, I'm going to clean up the mess from after painting. And the last thing that I was supposed to do today is clean my master bathroom. So I'm going to do that. And I literally took everything, scratched everything off my to-do list today, which feels amazing. Um, excuse you. What a job somebody come get this man okay do you guys need a a pool boy a something wow like he's my pool boy always outside doing <laughs> doing some pool stuff so i call him my pool boy but anyway guys i'm gonna end this vlog for today here hopefully we get some exciting things happening tomorrow but yeah i see you guys in the morning Mwah. So we took a little trip to home good guys and i want to know down below let me know exactly what you think of this vlog style do you love it would you rather me do things differently or do you just love having a snippet of my week my daughter had a orthodontist appointment that afternoon and it's always been tradition ever since she's been getting her braces tightened to go to home good afterward but the last four months i haven't been and i've been slowly updating things in my kitchen as i mentioned prior so like oh 
always going to home good now it's not about home decor it's about just find like organization things kitchen stuff we needed some more outdoors cups and i was really lucky that day finding this outdoor cup that i was hot on in a minute but i really want to know down below let me know what you guys preferred because i do these videos to you know entertain you i love watching youtube video when i'm either cooking or cleaning so i want to know like what do you do um in your spare time while you're watching these videos and also do you love this type of content lately i've been obsessed with finding like few beautiful wooden pieces from home good i love browsing the kitchen stuff to find few pieces i actually love this utensil set the handle was white so i was afraid that was going to stain and between the white and the, the wood piece there was like a a gold detail that I really love but I just love going to home good not only for snack cleaning supplies for kitchen gadget and also I got a bunch of storage things like over the time because my daughter's orthodontist is right next to home good so we always make our way there just to browse around Another thing I love from Home Good is getting like towels. We needed some new towels, so I was just like looking at prices. Sometimes I compare the prices from Home Good to my Sam's Club because I am a member, and sometimes it's cheaper buying it there. But I love just sticking to white. I always find like random colors at Sam's Club. But yeah, I love, love, love Home Good for things like that. And here I was doing a little selfie moment with my girl and guys i'm just loving like the little art pieces that i saw obviously with wood i think i'm done with mirror furnitures and mirror pieces so yeah i just love this um one filled with words of encouragement and peace for your home so i received my replacement blender this came from walmart i've been sharing this collection on Instagram guys follow me on Instagram. I would love to have you there. But anyway, let's get it open So these are the outdoor glass that I got from home good they were $3.99 each I really love the size of them Typically, that's what I get for the kiddos this one I got last year But obviously messed up by being put in a dishwasher. So I'm going to get rid of those and get these They're actually bigger than our standard um glassware this is quite big guys so i'm truly excited about that and they look very 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 beautiful to see i'm actually going to make some ice um, coffee with this and see how pretty it turns out so here is the blender once you turn it on eventually i want to get the vita blend but for right now this would do because i don't have anything else to substitute so it's supposed to make a smoothie you have your little high settings and i love it because it's touch screen i haven't used it yet so i can't really speak on how functional it is but i have the air fryer from that same line and i share it on ig and most of you guys went a little crazy over it it's so pretty guys i don't blame the popularity of different pure like settings that you normally find crush ice but obviously I haven't tried it yet so I can't speak on it I love the details I think that did such a beautiful job with details with her line here is the air fryer in case you haven't seen it and you don't follow me on Instagram it's just very beautiful quite heavy this is six quarts and I'm going to plug her in this is also touch cream so once I turn it on you can air fry rolls reheat and dehydrate you know good for fruits and stuff like that so very nice love the handle as well um, and I'm still waiting for the knife set that's the only thing left on the collection that I haven't received yet but I love it it's very pretty it's been on my counter ever since I got it and I just hide the wire right behind it I can't stand wires so it looks real good against even my smirk um, toaster now I also wanted to show you guys my DIY that I did so this is how it's looking it looks so good guys it looks so so good it feels amazing you can easily do it yourself so I cannot wait to style this um, so yeah that is it 
almost forgot to share the second bag with you guys so this is a bag from Tory Burch and the style is a little different as far as like inside inside the bag this one has two co two compartment versus the other one has one I love the style in this one I thought it was a little bigger that make that give the illusion of a bigger bag when you look at it online but I really love this one I feel like it's a bit more mature I'm about to be 37 maybe I'm overthinking it but looking at these two bags side by side what do you think because I have the option of returning the one on the right and then exchanging it for something a little bit more they have a taupe version of that bag um, but I just wanted something like summery be but very very fun but I feel like this one is a bit more mature maybe I'm overthinking it but when I share this bag on the right with my hubby he said that look like bags that my girls should be wearing that's what he said but when I told him about a beach vibe he said oh yeah I can see you definitely wearing this at the beach so yeah keep it so I'm kind of a little indecided but I know definitely the one on the left is a is staying with me but just not sold on the one on the right so let me know down below what you think um or maybe i'm overthinking it but i really love the nude color and i think it both options are pretty pretty good ones if you decide to go with them so i'm going to link them down below as well so that will conclude this video i hope you guys enjoy it i love you guys so so much and i thank you guys so much for your love and support and i'll see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye